I'm hearing chatter in the back area while I'm talking. <laughs> like, nigga, you sit your book like, ass down. Like, Yo, your palm on the flop, man. This nigga done changed. They go like, oh, but like, you get a blunt. You get a blunt. You get a blunt. <laughs> Bruise in the cooler, because I'm an old schooler. <coughs> I don't know about Shit, so I'm gonna let you hear the defense volume one. That's why I really gotta get one right there, too. One gotta be right there. Either my laptop or your camera, something gotta go on. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Let me uh, make this drink and be on. So, Andre, um, like this. That's already recorded. Listen, let me see. Let's see. You get my dog. You get it. We got Andre. But you got to watch that, though, that camera, because it's going to stop. So kind of make sure you put your phone on like 25 minutes so you see it. That's the one, two, three. Yes, sir. We're back at it again. You know who it is and what it is. This shit stop. Link with us. Get with us on all platforms. Come check out the shit we into, what we got going on, what we plan to have going on. Me, I'm your boy, Boston Craft. And once again, it's on, J Defense. All platforms. You hit me up, Twitter, YouTube, everything on. This should stop podcast. J Defense. We back on. This should stop podcast. Big dog. Tuning in. They got the big homie on here with us. Got a special guest tonight. Good coming through, my dude. Hanging out with the fam. Yes, no sir. fucking with niggas. <laughs> now, we gotta touch on, because we from Bing, and of course one of the greatest Celtics ever. You know what I mean? Brought us a chip. I mean, obviously, we got so many greats. We're saying the modern era. We're saying the modern era. That's Maryland. crazy. I'm like, the greatest we're, we're of all time on this South. One of the one, greatest. One of the Dog, greatest. I mean, the shit he went through with us when we was sucking, man. He the like, truth. He ain't the GOAT. Nah, nowhere near. He but definitely I mean, like, the truth. We still got to give my man props, sticking with us through everything he went through, in the being, losing. Nah, um, that's when I think I started to really um, kind of be fond of him. Like, when the nigga didn't rap and the nigga stayed on Boston. Stayed with Boston. Leave. And that was big because it was like that shit was major. I know by the time he got out the spittle, he heard who niggas was. He heard it was a major situation. So, for him to even do that, I'm telling you, that shit showed me like a different, like, oh, Paul ain't one of them dudes. Nah, he from it. He from and where you from? Cali? Where you from? Cali. Yeah, I was going to say that. He from LA. It was he was, he was at the Boston. Set in the beam. He was at, at the, the Boston that. shootouts. Uh-huh. A lot of niggas don't know when the Boston shootouts was here, he was throwing up them gang signs when they was playing in the um, yeah. fleet. It was the Garden then, I believe. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Boston uh-huh. Garden. Then. Yeah. But since we on him, we know what we talking about. If y'all haven't heard or haven't seen, Paul Pierce got nice and twisted, hanging out with his family, his friends. And um, Phil Tatiana's and uh, decided to go live. Was it inappropriate? Was it inappropriate? Like, he, he's hanging out. He's on his own time. It ain't like he was at the ESPN studios. He wasn't on the jump. He wasn't on ABC trying to do the uh, pregame. 
nothing like that. He's in his own dwelling. So, shit, he had to went live with strippers, getting butterball naked or what have you, um, smoking blunts. Um, that's allegedly because, you know, we don't know what was inside the thing, but he looking high and drunk. I mean, I think for him to have all them years in the NBA – and they kind of know the ins and outs because, you, you know, it ain't like he a young dude that really don't know the behind-the-scenes shit. He's a dude that been in the NBA for years, so he know how they rock it and everything. Um, I said two things. I said either he was really that high and just that shit was stupid. That shit was hella stupid to me. There's no way he should have did that shit at all, period. Yo, was crazy. Even if that's in your room and you popping like that, not like that, you really a motherfucker that's on worldwide TV. Motherfuckers see you every day, so now to see you and that, I could kind of understand where they was coming from with it. You could have kept that shit private. And I, wasn't he on the phone with like another baller or some shit? I ain't even peep whether he was on with another caller, but like you said, two things. One is, wasn't, been it, around, wasn't it a call or some shit? <clears throat> You've been on round. For years, you know the ins and outs. You know how to stay what they call corporate NBA. So you know what you're supposed to do, what you're not supposed to do, right? Then you're talking about your 40 plus. So And you know they really gave you a shot. You know you one of the niggas they gave a shot. Yeah. And like, you, let's see how I go with this nigga. So you 40 plus, all right, you already fucking up just doing something like that. Silly, putting that on. I mean, I don't know people 40 plus that's really live with they... Stop doing dumb shit anyway. Now you gotta look at it's two aspects. You work for Disney. You like you have a contract. Disney owns ESPN, in case people don't know know that. But not only that, here's the other the dudes marry. So like now is the behavior I mean, see that's what I'm saying, because it's cool for his wife could have been in the room. No. Right, right, right. You know what true I'm saying? That, so true that, true that's that. why I can't fault him on that. With him, it's more of you know we work. You know the NBA. You know that kind of wasn't no. And the only thing I could think about, I said, Dan, what if he was trying to get out that deal? The way I look at it, since you he had that, because he, he knew better than that. He kind of knew it was going to be sent. I said, what if he wanted to get the well, fuck away the from ESPN? He knew the right. backlash. That's what I'm saying. Like, maybe he wanted out of ESPN. With ESPN don't Disney, nobody want out, out of that. Don't nobody want out of that deal. The money he making, yeah, I don't, yeah, he, he ain't want out of a deal to do no dumb shit. But like it's funny says, you bring Nah, up. I can see him want out of that shit. His eyes are red on, on them little videos, so yeah. he was probably geeked oh, up. Oh, he was geeked up. So did he lose his ambitions? Did he? But like you said, going back to like, was his wife he there? So like, even if she there, or even if she don't notice how he get down, but if that's his wife, she probably know how he get down. But now you still putting her in a position. So I'm looking at like, all right, fuck the money. He should have enough money to do what you call fuck you money. So but, if you want the wild out, whatever. So I'm like, hey, let's say you want to lose a job. Let's say that you don't give a fuck about the job. It's, it's only pennies on the dollar to you. Now I'm looking at it from a married man status. Like, dog. If your wife was there or wasn't there, you're still putting out a, a a look that says either she's down with you doing whatever or you're putting out the profile of, look how I get down when I'm not around my wife. I mean, so, either way, I think him and his wife should be none of nobody's fucking business. We can only count on what he have involved in the public. It became, our, it became our business. It only, yeah, but it's only our business through ESPN. It's not our business through... Him and his wife, because like I said, we could be talking about all this shit. Wifey could have been in the back like, nah, run your video. You spot you know on with saying? that and your but, opinion about... But it I, was just strippers. Wasn't no actual sexual activity going that on. Was so no that video. was no was no activity. And this is what show. I'm trying to say. It's, it's just like, strippers. Like, right. so it's, most it's wives, kinda, it shouldn't even bother them if they... Right, so it's kind of like all of us going to the strip club. club. You know what I'm saying? Usually you with a couple of your boys. Yeah, you chilling. So it's like... Some of these wives might even go too. Right, they're not denying that. So like I said... He wasn't on there really like getting some some head or, you know, really on some inappropriate junk. But just with me seeing, like, when I first seen the video, like, now I don't even think I seen the video. I think I seen a picture of it. And I was like, oh, shit, somebody done put Pez head on some shit. That's what I thought. Oh, he thought, oh, he thought it was Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> then when I'm starting to see this shit ring, I'm like, 
Damn, what the fuck, and, man? Paul yo, but, like, like because said, this but, is but one of his lives, like, he had the blunt and everything, right? Now, here's my thing. Or was you, it a? I probably could have took yo. that from like a, a he maybe a Derrick Rose or something, but yo. like Paul Pierce. That's what. Come my whole on, thing man. is like you okay. too old for this shit to <laughs> even be publicizing some shit like that. As a married man, I'm telling that you, as a married man. As a married man. Fuck that job. I mean, obviously, I'm just saying what comes first. Like, so you still putting out to me now. Like, now we're starting to look at you, married men are, or some men that might feel or look at a certain way, is this. Either you doing some crazy shit with or without your wife, but now you're bringing your private life of your relationship into mine. Like now, now you're making it public. That's what was more fucked up. Like now, if he was nah, but if a, your wife don't care, then it's like I can't care. I well, can't tell the, you about some shit if Tam don't but, give a fuck. Right. How the fuck I'm telling you? At the end of the what day, what you doing is wrong. At the end of the day, it does matter about how she feels. But he has to worry about that though. Exactly. Yeah, but, but that's what that, that, he's but, the only person. But, 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 what, what if what if Tam's like, yo, um. That shit was cool. I was right there. But we all looked at it and was like, damn, Jay, he was out of order. Nigga was in Vegas. But see, he's yeah, yeah. Now, 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 see, you this, know what I'm saying? This, this, this but then saying. you fuck around and get around and Tim's like, no, nah, I was over there in the corner. Like, I seen the video. Yeah, I was like, see, now, 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 see, now, this is where I said it brings your private life into public is this aspect. So now, what if wifey don't want to be on camera? She's sitting over there, like you said. She's at the house. She sees what's going on. But once I make my private life public, now motherfuckers like you gonna be like, damn, like yo, Tam don't know about that, whatever, what's going on? And then you find out, oh, she was over there. Like now you privy to more of my private me, life than you me, need to know. Me, you don't I'm need to know saying, that. Well, me, even if my wife was there, I see what, I see what Jay's there. saying because yeah. what what Paul Pierce did. Now his wife got to worry about reporters and everybody running up in her it's face when she things. comes out Either she didn't questioning know or her. She knew. Uh, right. Oh, how but do you feel about your saying. husband when if he was I doing knew, this and that? Yeah, he was just in there enjoying himself like any other gentleman would be. That's what she's supposed to say and keep it pushing and I ain't saying nothing else after that because he's a grown man. Now where it done went with ESPN, I think that's the most way like because right. we can't be like um Involved if y'all want to put that shit out there, or if y'all don't say if y'all didn't want that's y'all business. But say if mm-hmm. both of y'all feel fuck it, this the way we rock. Who the fuck is the world to say no? You can't rock because no, nah, no, nah, yes, yeah, anybody. You're a you're a swim champion, right? So right, you right, shouldn't right. proceed like that. But but like I said, you know so what I'm I saying? No, I definitely see what you say. It's definitely about the money. But like I said, the money secondary because to me, I'm looking at his relationship with his wife. So like now, I'm looking at his two aspects. Whether she knows, whether she don't know. But now we going to start digging into whether she knows, whether she didn't know. Like, so now I wouldn't be surprised if she's filing for divorce in the next fucking week or two. Oh, she because knows she, now. If you peep, if you peep the Minnesota nigga, the um, truth, Malik man. Beasley. That nigga's called the truth for a reason, man. Yeah. That nigga ain't talking about no divorce, now, nigga. Now, now, did, did that bitch did the his thing, nigga. Malik Beasley, the nigga from the Minnesota Timberwolves, was messing with Scottie Pippen's ex-wife, Lassa Pippen. Right. So like mm-hmm. now he was married with a seed and all of that, and now he hugged up with Shorty. So like yeah. now, her first thing was like, "Oh, this is what you doing? It's on the internet and all this stuff." I filing for divorce. So like, yeah. what I'm saying is like now we digging in. Okay, I ain't know that kid, that dude had no wife, no kids, or nothing. We, but we, first we, we gotta first we gotta wait and see if she filed for divorce, which I very doubt. Like. That shit don't really. That's what I'm saying. Like, you might not, not even nothing we're not about even. That. Yeah, she we're not, we're not even. That. We're not talking about a young boy, in it, and we talking a motherfucker that really like this nigga's retired. He's cooling. Nah, I don't really see this shit shaking his life because I don't think he would have did it but in it that so, manner. Because he so did funny. it in a manner where he didn't wherever he did it, he, he wanted didn't. motherfuckers to see who was in the room. But see, what's so yeah. funny is what it you wasn't like that. it was a he was by himself, and then strippers came running by. Right, and he right, was right. like, nah, he oh shit, he was. He was, but was so crazy. Cooling, it's, like it's, he it's, hit the record button by mistake. Nah, nah. But oh, what's so God. crazy though, Pete? This right? It's like you nah. look at it from the money aspect. I'm looking at it from the um, love aspect, the wife aspect. So, but that's it don't what make I'm saying, one, right? Nah, make, but what I'm saying is, is yours. Nah, but it has to be. It can't be about the wife because we seen him show it. That's no, what it I'm can't saying. be about so the wife for you. But it can't if I showed it. 
If you show, if you, it's like right now, if a picture of you came down on Facebook of you with some strippers, my nigga, there's no way I think Tam don't know about this shit, my nigga. Now, That's some weird shit, though. All right? I'm saying is, I'm okay, smarter okay, than okay, that to now, know. But Pete, you not dropping no motherfucking now, picture Pete, like that, you're, you're, and you're your smart, wife don't you're know. You're smart as shit. Now watch this. Uh, now, now, uh, now watch public this. Social yeah. media, but no, no, site. no. But now it watch this. Which was that I, drunk? Which was that geeked up? You must now, have. Now, now y'all got a hit. Let me respond to that. I hear you. You spot on. But all I'm saying is, now I just invited the public into my wife's life. Now. You see what I'm saying? So I agree with what you said. Uh, so if I drop a picture, whatever, but if she uh, hold knew, on. But, but that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. if she understand. knew. That's what Even I'm if saying. She know. Then it, she's not worried about the she's public not. if she knows. She's not. She's not. But what I'm saying is now the public is now worried. Now the public is now digging. Yeah, now the right, public right, is right like, oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. They want to know. Who's More on views. They want to well, know. Where's she from? Uh, how she get down? Like, did I bang her? So that's all I'm saying is like, yo. This and is yo, so opinion. this is this is That's this is this is what I want to know, right? Is it at any moment that a black man can do what he wants? And I'm talking about a black man with money. Is it at any point in his life he can just do what he wants? Or do you think the more money you get, the less shit you can do? Because that's how I really view it now. It's like the more money you get, it's the less shit you really can do in life. You Yo, can't be not, well, it's a, even somewhat normal. It like, depends on who who you connected with, like like who's, let's say like Kevin who's you, who you on the contract with, like Kevin Hart making all this money. You know what I'm saying? Like Kev can't say what he want to say. There's certain actors that really have this bread, but they cannot express themselves because of who be they're problem. representing. That's why, and that's a, and but that's why my whole thing yeah. was at some point. Do you think like with Paul Pierce? Maybe he just was in the telly and was like, "I don't give a fuck what my wife has to. I don't care what nobody got to think. Nigga, I'm up here, I'm partying, shit lit up here. Let me show niggas why well, can't just a black man feel that way." Well, I'm a, I'm gonna say two things. First is I don't think it's just a black man thing. I think that it is across What's the board. Yeah, not, to say, not to say not to say that um, other. Races don't have other issues or what have you, but I'm just going to say uh, we've seen white comedians say some stuff and get blackballed too, or cancel culture, all of that stuff. So I won't just limit that. I'm not that selfish or stupid to think that it's just a black man. Nah, thing. like Seth but, Rogen and be but, on shit like smoking, cool, and still getting all them big ass deals for movies. I'm not. The niggas I'm not, don't stop doing what they do. I'm white not saying, boys. I'm not. And I'm not even trying to make it a black and white thing. What I'm trying to say is far as just a black man, is it at any point we can do what the fuck we want to do? You know when we could do it? I'm going to tell you like this. This is something that Sway, uh, I listen to Sway, Shay and the Shay for You don't know everything, morning. Sway. Nah, but I'm going to tell you like this. So, I mean, he said he had a conversation with um, Beyonce's pops. We got um, Matthew. Matthew, no. He said, listen, that's why you got to have fuck you money. I said, what the fuck is that? That's when you could do whatever you want to do. You can turn down deals, accept deals. Fuck you. That's that fuck you money. So, like, there are people. You look but at Oprah. Hold on. Look at Oprah and Gail. Oprah like, don't right? do what she want to do. Nah, but I'm going to tell you like this. Look at how they go on that. Money, but she don't. Look at how, look at how they came say. out on that disrespectful <laughs> shit for so many years against black folks to see. And then when everybody started hitting the rough, like, yo, wait a minute. Why y'all, like, you attacking R. Kelly? Like, you attacking, not to deny that they shouldn't have been, but it's like, Yo, what about your boy Weinstein? How come y'all ain't hitting Weinstein she up didn't as do much it. as as much as you was she going didn't in do nothing about Kelly. Weinstein? That's still her man. She didn't do nothing about that shit. That's, that's what I'm the saying. Problem. That's so what this I'm is saying. and like, this is that. what I'm saying. Even when black people feel there really is a problem, but it's like I can't say that because more than I know that black people would celebrate what I said. It's some other people that have shut down everything I have. And just the same way, it show you Oprah collude shit. They took shit from Oprah during this time. Like, that's what I'm saying. Motherfuckers know that they are really on a leash. You know what I'm saying? The more money you get, the more I feel they really have yours. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, you're really worried about losing all these millions of So billions. now you tapping into some shit that so I So even did. like with Matthew you know saying well, that, it's like, Beyonce's yeah, not doing what the no fuck she's doing. No she matter how much money a person but, got, it's always somebody you got to answer to on that high level. That's one aspect of it. But also, that fuck you money could be, what do you consider fuck you money? So in other words, if Oprah spoke out about Weinstein, 
you already got what? Ain't you a billionaire? So you're trying to tell me that she can no longer live her life, a life? Like, are uh, you just trying to get the I next mean, that's billion, a, the that's next a, seven billion? That's a, she is. So then, so then we start going to a whole nother realm of sellouts. And that's another topic. We're going to talk about that one day. We're going to put no, that on the paper. She definitely on um, Whistler. Sellouts. No, she definitely the, the not. Coolness shit. Yeah, every, that's Oprah's coolness definitely shit. a sellout. Like, she's definitely one of them motherfuckers. But now nah, I just want to know, do niggas just feel that way, man? But um, because I really do. I feel at some point, man, like, and not to say, like I said, I totally agree with the figure he is and him doing it. But I feel at some point, niggas have to be able to let the fuck down. Like, just let down. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yo, but they Take your little do, button but you up put off that shit and... Up on the fucking you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yo, sometimes you want to... Sometimes you want to show niggas too, yo, I'm really like shit. Shit popping for me. The fuck wrong with that? That's what... I'm, yo, it's like this, right? It's it, And I tell people that the worst shit you could do is have money and can't show it. You can't do what you want to do with the money. You can't live the way you want to live because of all these things. It's a difference with having money and can't show it versus signing a deal with Disney and you really out here living like fucking Nino I'm, I'm, Brown. No, like, it's I'm two really, different no, things. That wasn't man. Nino like, Brown. That was really, I'm just, I'm just no, but I'm saying in there. general, Concept. no. That's really you being a gentleman going to strip clubs. Like, see, we don't. We really don't know the aspect of behind why he really did it. Could have been on some stressful <laughs> shit. Some serious right. shit. Could, going, be could have been some divorce. serious he shit going been... on at work. <laughs> right, right. It's a whole lot of shit. Ask the person. And he just right? felt he needed to release. This is what I said. It's like, But yo, Disney's not going to represent you on that. He nah, don't, man, he nah, don't nah, always nah. want, like me and the person was having a conversation. This shit bears off for a minute, but we'll come back. Yo, but, um, me and a person was having a conversation, and it was kind of about, like, pastors and shit, you know what I'm saying? And just, like, how people look at a pastor, you know what I'm saying? And I was saying, like, yo, if I had a pastor, not to say I would want my pastor to be a drunk or a drug addict or whatever, but I would want him to live his life. I wouldn't put my pastor under expectations of, you're never going to do nothing. Now, if my pastor was in a strip club and it's a fucking... Friday night or something like why am I tripping like I like to know you human you're a fucking gentleman you know what I'm saying because him going up in it don't mean he's doing some shit yeah but as a pastor you that could be Man, your previous life how you that cannot sound be you walking up in the strip club from listen, the devil you look in the God. corner like, like that, listen, pastor can I borrow the dollars in the that's house a whole that's what story. I'm saying that's See, this is, come on man. 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 man that's what I'm trying to say so you're trying to tell me that the strip club is the devil if you go to the strip club, you are condoning the devil, is what you're telling me. Well, pastors are still a human. They make mistakes. They sin. They ain't perfect. So how is a strip club? Sin? You're not supposed to be the music in there, the alcohol and drugs that's in there, the tantalizing bodies that's in there. You cannot tantalize so, a man. Okay. Have you so, ever read the so Bible? Cool. That's what I'm trying to say. Church? Like, so, so a pastor, a pastor not be. can never go in a strip club. No. Once he's not he's supposed to, God, you to condone. Godly life. He's not. He's su- not a fucking god. That's the he thing. He lives godly no, life. He, no, I didn't say he God. He that's lives god life. That's what I'm saying. If he god. follows God's word, he, he, he has to live by that. He lives by that god exactly life. And he's what trying I'm, to draw. Check what I'm saying. There's no way. There's no way in the Bible it said don't fuck with strippers. No, none of that. With, let's be real. Let's not talk about all this bullshit. It never said if you go in a strip club because we know for a fact that there is But it doesn't prostitution. mention nothing about oh, no, stripping in the Bible at all. Yes, in the Bible. Yes. We know there's prostitution in the yeah. Bible. And what else for is, a a fact. What else yeah. is in a strip club? So this is what I'm trying to say. I don't know how if, a, if like with me, my friends, the one thing I love about the people I call friends because they are them. I don't love them for what I think they'd be. I don't love them for what the fuck they could become. I love them for the people that I know they are. None of my friends are the same. So it's different niggas. That's what I tell people about even with a friendship. It's you knowing your friends. You're not my friend because you're up today or, you know, yo, this nigga just dressed good. You just answered your own question. Because now, if you have a pastor, you have him as a pastor for only one specific reason. He's living godlike and he's drawing you into the church. No. If your pastor is doing something outside of being a pastor, 
then that's no longer your pastor. So How? I love the way you just said that. Listen your friends trying are your to friends. Say, you're trying to tell me that a pastor has no life in order for you to follow him. I don't understand. Why do you have to consider a pastor having a life with a pastor living a life of sin? No, a pastor, a, a pastor has saying. to live a God-like If I life. come to you, I come to you for salvation, motivation. I come to you. I'm, I'm not coming to you because I think you are a fucking saint or I think you do everything right. No, that's what I'm telling you. Those things don't live in my brain. I don't think nobody but you know is that's no. What he's supposed to no, do, that's not what the fuck he is gonna do. That's, that's what I'm saying. But that's your opinion. Because I mean, see, that's this okay. what I'm saying. When you watch a lot of Disney movies, you believe in shit that maybe could be. That never was me. I believe in what the fuck is. So I know everybody is human. Everybody have flaws. Correct he's a human mundo. man just like me. Correct the moon though. I'm a fuck up. He's gonna fuck up. Correct the moon. I can follow him off of his knowledge and his deliverance and where he been. That don't mean. When at 8 o'clock at night, I'm thinking about what the fuck my pastor is doing. No, he's living his life. As long as he's not bringing this shit to the church, he's not doing no wild shit against people in the church, he can still be a God and tool for any of us. And that's your opinion. And all I'm saying is that anybody that's But see, this is what I'm saying. Those are called false prophets. Those How are when you've that seen can... everybody in the church that you think don't fuck up, I ain't say everybody in the church. Most most men that are pastors are fucking pedophiles. They're fucking tricks. That's come on, we done sit down to the biggest ones. Look at the scandals that go on with black pastors. Why wouldn't you stop doing that? Making this person be a fucking person that's in the air and just accept him for who he is. He's one of us. Listen, He's no different. Yo, it's he just things. have some knowledge we don't yo, have. Yo, it's, that's it's, it. Yo, hold on. It's too. It's things. like a teacher. Yo. You don't put yo. this much weight into a teacher. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're just no, no. here to yo, teach yo, me. Yo, you spot on. You on two I'm not things. here for hold you on, to hold be on, hold at on. 9 Watch o'clock. This. No, 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 no. You're on two things. Let me say You're this. You're a human at 9 o'clock. Let me say this before yeah. I forget. Yeah. All right, so let me say this. Yeah. Let me say this. Because first and foremost, you're going to church. You're listening to the pastor. But you should not be praising men. You're praising God. So you True supposed to have your own relationship so with God. So it makes sense So it makes sense in that aspect of what you said. I'm... No doubt. Because they are human. And just like there's doctors that still have malpractice suits. There are still people that make mistakes. So they're human. So I see that realm. And I'm not denying that. Now, all I'm saying is also in addition, those are also called false prophets. But also a pastor should live a godlike life. No, why so, would, why would you? That's, that's what I'm saying. But for you to even say that a uh-huh. godlike life, uh-huh. that is damn near putting him at a tent. Why would you hold any man on that pedestal? You would hold God. God is God put, for a reason. Said, I never a said man you put is not God, and that's what. So I have. But to, if you're going to a church that the pastor is actually partying with you, or no, you see he's him not at the strip club, or if you see him dating strippers, I'm or follow, doing whatever. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, that, me personally, that, I'm following him more, and that's and that's fine. because that's it's that, like that's now your you're showing that's transparency. It. See, I'd rather cool. know my pastor uh, uh, than really not know you. I'd rather know my pastor than if my pastor's that. De- now, see, here's another thing about me. My mother's uh, uh elder and my, my pops is an elder. My pops has his own church, too. And they've been in church all their life. We grew up in church or what have you. But, of course, they both backslid and all of that. So I'm not going to sit up here and say um, I know everything about the Bible and everything how it's supposed to be. But my pops, he done been through the ringer, man. He Any drug you name, he done play with it. He, um, alcohol, he done play with. He, he turned his life over to God, follow that. And the way he preached, I would love to bring you to his church at some point, but either way, that's somebody that I look at and I see how he changed life up over and what is God like. That's the way he lives. And that's the way a pastor is supposed to live, right? If that's going to be somebody that's leading a flock of sheep to heaven, so this now, is, and this is that what doesn't saying. mean that so, doesn't mean that th- that he's above anything no, else. No, so that's what I'm telling you right so now. Forth, but right now, what you say, you want to follow lived, somebody like that. So he lived his life. He was the backslide. Say whatever, yo. Yes, he just yep, he yep. started drinking. What he don't make him your pastor tomorrow? Correct the moment. Fuck. Sometimes you, you have to be there can. to help this man. Not all the time. He is the one. Sometimes well, I'm need not supposed help. to be there for him. God needs to help him. Nah, but you also, have to be. That's what because we all gods, all of us. All of us, God and all of us. 
there's God in all of us, but that's we're what, not God. All of us. We're not all my of God, us, at least my God. Right, that's I what mean, I'm saying, but all of us are gods, okay. all of us. And that's what I'm saying. To a person, I would like, just say if I came to church, I would like a pastor to tell me, damn, you know, last night went through a lot. Yo, I end up having a drink. I would, I can, I can take that. You coming, you, you, you actually being what you saying we should be. I can take that. Then for you to be preaching this shit and you're doing this shit in the back. See, now you done led me astray. Now I done went somewhere that I shouldn't have went for five years. Because I, it's so many fucking pastors, it's not transparent. Yo, you have a... Gr Listen, I love that, man. Like, yo, you have a great idea. And with me, I just... No, no, but hold on, man. You have a great idea about what that means to you. And I love transparency everywhere in life. And if my pastor's doing that, that's no longer my pastor. That's just my opinion. But that's somebody that you would still follow. But the transparency, anybody, I always treat that with anything. Yo, if if you smoke crack, if you drink 40s, if you fuck niggas, if whatever the fuck you do, as long as I know, now I can decide on how I want to deal with you, if I want to deal with you, should I proceed or what have you. So along the same lines of a preacher, that's considered a false prophet if he's not living God life. So, so like you now think that's leading you towards in the hell world. and not towards heaven. So you think there's somebody But you in never the pray world. to a man. You still pray to a God. But if you have a preacher that's sitting up there supposed to be Having the word. First of all, God is not sending down word to a sinner to preach to a flock that he wants to bring into heaven. How when we so, have all these motherfuckers that have the biggest church? Those are the biggest church is ran by the crookedest pastors. I'm not saying they are or not. You have but to pay to get in some churches. You are spot on. So this is this is what I'm trying to How tell you. How did we get into this? When, no, because we were talking about transparency. Listen. Transparency, but also so boom, when, what when we was talking about Paul Fitz, but I'm right. Like, because we went to because what I'm trying to say is. With us looking at it and, and motherfuckers being able to turn them down, it's because they look at them on this joint instead of looking at them as a man, as I'm a man. See, that's mm -hmm. the thing that get niggas starstruck with, superstars. You see, you think they're super, they're not. They're regular motherfuckers just like you. I feel the same way about shit, actors, take actresses, a piss, these everything. millionaires, fuck them. I'm not they, in they the room like with us. nobody that yeah, I'm like, oh I'm shit, that. that's, nigga, I'm about to yeah. think. No. But I'm not following them motherfuckers to try to get to heaven either. But though. this is what I'm trying to say. In all forms of that, when you put people but you're spot on, on, that, that on when you know yep, yep. that they are human like me. There's nobody in the world that I just think, yo, last 10 years, this person lived godly. And to me, I don't give a fuck that much. I just really care about the service you come and perform. Perform your service, do what you're supposed to do. So a preacher I, I'm not sitting up there preaching under the influence of anything. You think that he's really giving you see, the word? I, see, this is what I'm saying about so if you was with the living, mind okay, where you try to reach. Go, what go, I go, said go. was, in his after hours, okay. it's like a teacher's after. If she want to get a train ran thrown at my nigga, I don't give a fuck about, as long as she make it for social studies tomorrow, what the fuck the train have to do with niggas? All right, so let's go back to People that. have so to be able, because we come from a spot where we can't live our life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to, once you... Get a certain status or you get money, you have to now walk a rope. Everything you do is like, damn, you should decide I do to be that? a pastor, that's the rope. That's the ultimate rope. But I'm going to ask you this. So your pastor goes out Saturday night, has a few drinks, have a few strippers, and now he's in a pulpit, hungover, still alcohol on his breath, but pussy on his dick. But look like, at, look at this shit you go through. He couldn't have went us? up in there, had two shots, maybe watched some dances, Helped out, went to the crib. He couldn't have did still that. be able to, to lead or guide from a pastor standpoint. Yeah. With me, transparency is every Yes. I right. to uphold that image. Now, now, let me but ask you. Why, this is what I'm saying. And do you understand why we image. get so much, so many things that shouted for us? Because we feed into these images. We feed into these images. We, we feed, put people into but, this power. But that's what faith is. Now, I see what you're saying it's about no people. It's no fucking power in it, man. Are you fucking I, I crazy? I see. You're, you're normal you're, like me. You are definitely touching Motherfuckers on, you, go you, to you, school you, to be yeah. pastors. You don't just... It's not, not like all they, pastors go to school to be pastors. Then that mean they but really ain't a fucking pastor then. No, just because... Uh, you it's just like a Bible. doctor. If you didn't go to school, you're not a doctor. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. But so, saying, so they really not, not a pastor. pastor. And this is what I'm saying: if you can go to school and get a fucking yep, yep. paper for something, uh -huh. why, why would I think you're close to God? 
Because why would I think you just got instructions? All you have is instructions. Look at Mace. Shit, is he wrong? Hold on. He he wasn't. (laughs) Let me step in and get some money. Let me do what I can do. Maybe he felt it at the moment. Then after I don't feel it no more. Yo, those are false prophets and they'll fall down hard. It's not. It's not. uh, But let me ask you this. Let me just say this. And I hate to equate something to this. Here's what I'm going to say. And I hate to even equate it to this. I'm going to let you get your shit off and then we're going to leave this shit. I don't want to minute the whole thing about a pastor. But let's just say this. Um, there's a patient that's going in for heart surgery, right? And now they're putting their life inside of a doctor's hands. And the doctor says, okay, I'll be in there in a half hour. Goes to the little closet. <laughs> bang. Knock back a little half pint of Henny. Half pint of Naughty Head. Comes in there to perform the surgery. That's not like that because you're saying... I'm just saying, asking like no, that. Would you, you're saying would you person, want that? You're saying a I'm person's just, on just call. Answering that question. If a person is not on call and it's a doctor, he has something... Appointment to, tomorrow no, at seven. You what is wrong change, with him having it? You don't, have to, you don't have to change the question. It doesn't matter. No, if he's on, on call on, or not. Because what, you're, because what you're saying is you're saying if somebody knew they had, if somebody knew they was going to do an open surgery, they went to the closet and bang. Would you want them to do it? That's not the same. I'm just asking you. That's not I'm the just, same. I'm just. On, you don't even have to analyze the question. I'm just asking no, you. I'm telling you it's not the same I'm thing. Not, see, why do you keep trying to go? I'm going to go somewhere else with it if I need to, but I'm just asking you, would you want that person to perform a surgery on you? That's no, all. if I know, no. Okay, that's yeah, all I was asking. He, he ain't going to do nothing. Now, we could go to somewhere else, but like you said, we're going to leave it alone. But I was just going to say is this, just like a preacher that's about to preach to his flock, would you want that person to be hungover, Drunk, nah, but it shows that you think you're I'm a flop. You wouldn't That's want what to. I don't have these things of people. People I'm don't hold that, that much do. value to me. A preacher, no, that's what I'm but saying. You're a fucking human. You, a you fuck the same way I yeah, fuck. Yeah, you do yeah. exactly I what I do. There's no different in you. I'm on. not holding. See, that's the reason why if on. my preacher did something, I wouldn't be broken hearted. Why? Just, because he's a man like me. Am I going to fuck up at some point? I probably am. You're spot on with your so idea. So why would I think he is men. not going to fuck up? Yeah. Now, if I go to him, then that mean I, I fuck with his service. I fuck with um the way he preached the word, whatever have you. With me, anybody that is over me in any realm, you're only over me because of information. That's the only thing that make you higher. And that's what's nothing so, else. That's what's so phenomenal. It's not about you being special. No, nothing. It's just information. But, that, but let's just say this. That's you can reach so the same level as your teacher, and that bitch ain't your teacher no more. Yeah, you just re- you re- can reach the same re- thing re- as the pastor. You can memorize that fucking Bible, and now you don't need this but pastor. But if you're not called by God, you can't be a, The only pastor. reason he know everything, why? Because when he repeat it, you got to look it up. See, that's the only thing that make you the flock. But, and him the fucking teacher. But, pastors, but if you knew what he knew, pastors, what the fuck would you need him for? Pastors are supposed to be called by God. Those but we the know they not because they went to school. Not all, not all, no, you not went all. to no, you went to not school. All. None. You went not, to school okay. for this shit. That's this your is opinion. something you got up to do That's, as a career. You know what? You know what? You don't do it for free. Do you know what um, religion is based off of? Yes. What? You know faith. No faith. No. So you're supposed to have faith in your pastor. You're supposed to have faith that religion a is damn near like heaven. slavery. You 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 are afraid of some shit you never seen. That's a good. Point. You're never that's, gonna that's touch. A good point. Nobody that's a ever good point. told you what the fuck it was like. I've heard that. Nobody never came I've back and that. said, "Yo, now nah, I went to hell." Now nah, you know what that. I went to heaven. So there really is two. That's why nothing. I love these type of conversations. So it's like we have to. I don't to, know how we got here, but I love that we have no, but, it. But because yeah. it, it go back to the but thing of God. We yo, keep putting point. people on these pedestals to get knocked down. I would you say every pedestal but a pastor. I, I agree with like, you. Oh, we I, have to know that. The we pedestal we put unit. people on, these millionaires, actors, actresses, and all that stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm so for it. But like, when it comes to a pastor leading a flock, if you're not called by God. So what, like Crack Roll Dollar? That's just me. Oh, I, I What's the know? other dude that just was before. raping the little boys? He had the biggest church. Fucking the old oh, dude, bunch of skinny them, but, um, dude. Uh, yeah, but about even what about one. what about Kirk Franklin? You know what I'm saying? Nigga talking on, about yo. I need a All motherfucking jet plane to get to. See, I like that. I ref- I fuck with Kirk for that. That's real shit. What are you talking like? I'm not saying that. I want to know you thing. real. Just, like, I was just and then you're my fucking stuff. son, nigga. I'll fuck you up. Who are you talking to? Well, first of all, he ain't no pastor, no church either. But I'm Exactly. Saying. He's a gospel but, savior. Yeah, he's just a gospel savior. Why can't anyway, he choke his motherfucking 31 year old He ain't living nobody's flock. Uh, of nobody. He ain't no preacher. But anyway, so 
Again, so it's I getting love the that, um, that, that's definitely I definitely don't booty like and flavor, that, um, flavor looking like on that booty. pedestal. Yeah, but um, which one you said you would take on a date? Um, booty you and this flavor. nigga crazy. <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> nigga like, nigga like, nah, yeah, I'ma pick Flay, Flay like, more my like era. Yeah, and this nigga like, <laughs> like, like Boosie, Boosie. I feel like, where like, Flay coming where they, from though. Boosie like he, he was here first. He's the senior. Yeah, of this shit. So like he said, nah, Boosie but they look, look alike. Like I ain't gonna lie, they do favor. No, they do, they, they do, do favor. I mean, yeah, they do. Nigga, I mean, of course, white people might look at it. I'm trying to tell you, I had these white people run up on me one time few, on about there. 10 years ago. Like, yo, you look like Mike Tomlin. I think I was getting on an airplane. We were about to, <laughs> I think I was flying to Atlanta or something. And I swear this couple kept looking at me, man. Then when I'm bored and they finally said, I know what it is. Like, yo, you look like Mike Tomlin. You know, I had heat, but that's when he had the beard and all of that. But either way, mm-hmm. I know we always sometimes look alike, but. Oh, all of us. Oh, but all in all, man, Flav and Boosie, they favor a little bit. They got, they, <coughs> got, they, nah, they, they, got, they from the same tribe. And I fuck with Ancestors them. from the same tribe. And I same fuck part with of both Africa. of them for having that real sportsmanship. Yeah, yeah, because Flav, Flav, Flav didn't come out like, yo, fuck these young niggas arguing, yelling, all that dumb shit. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, he, he, I mean, he, he good with Boosie. Camera. He definitely like Boosie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was cool. Yeah, no, he no, definitely, he definitely yeah, showed he love, and I definitely, no I definitely like liked that, that, so that shit the way, like, man shit, he man. answered back. You know, nowadays, yeah, niggas will say whatever, but you had to think it, oh, that's yeah, too real, couple dude, that you know what I'm saying? Go left yeah, with it. Like how these yeah. niggas be going left on a nigga Cassidy nigga on that stage, nigga. Yo. Cassidy always getting his ass snatched up, and... <laughs> Yo, that should be out of order the way niggas be doing yeah, cats, be nigga. Blinking out sometimes. Now, though. He I, go I, to the left. I watched a little. Quick. Um, I seen a few Cassidy battles. I didn't see the latest one, but I did see they little rev up. Like they had the little sit down with Hitman. Whatever they was going back and when forth. They was going back and Talking forth. Hitman shit. was. Yeah, you know mm-hmm. I mean, like it's like it's it's a couple of things with me, especially with a lot of this young stuff that's going on with the murders with these young cats and. Chicago thing with a few other cats and then Snitch Nine talk. But either way, I'm gonna go back to that shit real quick with Cassidy. You know, like it seems like just to me, Cassidy was trying to bring in that same young energy of let's make it more about beef than it is rhymes. Because the way I grew up, man, like yo, the, the late '80s, early '90s, like rap was. It was a sport. Like, you always had beef. Definitely. But it was definitely like, yo, what you doing on this? It was so many subliminals, so many straight up. Like, even LL and fucking Ice T, like, like, I'm talking about just yeah, spit on that microphone. So now these dudes is out here like, yo, let's murder somebody. Like, yo, I shot your man. Why did your man die? Just, the shit's getting crazy. But so it seemed like Cassidy, who was nice on the mic, I don't know what the fuck ever happened to him, but. I think he's still nice. He almost just remind me of cannabis. I just though. don't think like this battling shit is for him. I think he's still yeah. nice, but it's like the but battling shit in nice it too. show that them battle niggas really don't respect Cassidy in that lane. Like I think they re- they all respect him as a rapper. They know what he did and he made the charts. But I think in that shit, it's like that's the first thing they attack. Like fuck what you did yeah, over there. I think they like this is the a whole new kill like rap that, niggas because they kind of did yeah. that shit to Joe too. Yeah, that like, rap kind of like oh kind of you know what I'm they saying. Came like, right they came at Joe yeah. fucking awful too. Like um I forgot the um nigga he battled um. Hollow is gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, I seen Hollow that. Hollow was Hollow just went right out of Trying to grab Joe and touch yeah, Joe yeah. and all. Like, them niggas do get a little different because they know rappers be coming thinking they just going to get up there and yell and, and it be more to that shit. And one thing about that um, battle rap, that shit really is sport. That shit like, right, that shit. Yeah, shit, you got to be train for that yeah, shit. you got to like, train for that shit. Don't cast me out there like some of them. Like, I'll just say Joey and Cassidy. They haven't been on the same level as those regular rap battle cats. They come with the clips. They come with they. That's their lane. They know how to drop it. They know what to say to get the attention. Meanwhile, you got Joey and Cassidy that's sitting up here like the membranes connected to the membrane and them saying, and now I'm insane. And then you like looking for the O's and O's, and it's like. 
Nah, like you know what I'm saying because yo, Cassidy like, too nah. don't probably don't be doing his research on niggas, but nah, they been on shit. I can't even think of a fucking a battle Cassidy won in that shit since he been oh, going, man. and I don't know how the fuck he just being able to come back yeah. and keep like getting bags, nigga. Cause right. he's like getting his fucking head kicked in, and then he's like, oh y'all think I lost that? Nigga, wait till his next one in. And then he get the next one, nigga. That should be crazy. And he getting a headliner. And he getting, yeah, and he he getting, getting headliner like money. Game, I ain't in yeah. nobody's pockets, but no like, bullshit. I don't know who get more or less, but just to keep sitting up here. Hitman Holler was the last one, yeah. but he had guns before that. And who was the first nigga? He- Hollow. The, oh, no, no, no. Hollow had, uh, he had somebody. Oh, a uh, Disaster. He had I Disaster. disaster so I ain't even yeah, seen dis- that one. Yeah, I Disaster. Disaster did. I know. Nah, he, I know he had did. A, disaster had Out of all them niggas, in fact, they might have two. When they goods killed him, I seen that when goods killed that nigga. Yo, so it's like, and they snatched him up, like, man. Oh, Arsenal, like, Arsenal got at him too. Oh, that's who um, Arsenal yeah, got who, at him. Yeah, Arsenal was trying Arsenal, to treat him like oh, a little Arsenal, nigga too. Yeah, Arsenal kind of had him as a handkerchief. And he like, let on. Um, Nigga like Guds um, out balling, like on some baller shit, nigga. Guds still out fresh to everything, yeah, nigga. Yeah. No bullshit. Nah, Cassidy kind of lost it, man, for a minute. I kind of thought that nigga was like, yeah, high. No disrespect to Cash. You know what I'm saying? But I don't that know, nigga but... was. That nigga was slim. Nigga was out of shit. Nigga was just <laughs> all fucked up. Like, words yeah. wasn't sounding right. But, man. dog, when he, was, when he battled Freeway in the fucking um, early 70s, like, yo, oh, he, he, he chewed... Yo, Freeway had some shit to be, though. But I like it Cassidy, was back and forth. It was back nah, and forth. But like a lot of people shit, was like, yo, man. Cassidy got Because they were sitting in some joint like this, man. when like, they played that. And the, Freeway was like, yo, verse, put a beat on. Free, free, yo, free Freeway was, was free like, yo, put a beat on. Once Freeway was like, but yo, put a beat on. Cassidy, though. Yo, but like, yo, I'm tr- listen. Nah, I think Cass got to uh, probably, man, just get this last bag, man, and move out the way, man. Why did it? You know, because one thing he going to do is really fuck it up for the real rap. Why he up, though? Nah, just in the battle rap. Like, you know, you know how that shit just be touch going your pockets, be, yeah, you know, yeah. go on your kick. <laughs> Yo, your man, oh. You get in on little Showtime jumped up in Cassidy's face. That's what it was. Show was in his face. Um, hit me all his little brother got crazy. Yeah, man. yeah. Brought okay. all up and niggas okay. was trying to back him up. And, you know, that's a nigga little brother. He ain't you for that shit neither. Yeah, man. Now, that was a, um... But no, nah, I think Cash need to pack it up, man. This battle shit kind of over for him. It's, it appears to be that way because definitely, nah, so man, I thought that. Album or something, Speaking man, of the something. bag, nigga, Lil Weezy just bought that fucking yeah, that's big ass crib, nigga, in Hidden Hills, man. That yeah, Hidden Hills shit, that shit sick. Now, did he borrow mil? money from um, Baby or something? I knew he was going to be a <laughs> Weezy hater. I knew nah, that nah, shit. I'm not a Weezy hater. I said hater. that shit when you... I was even surprised <laughs> nah, nah. that you even like... I'm like, Nah, nah, nah he actually settled. Nigga, he settled. He settled. He settled the case. This nigga he is settled a the case. Hater, he, settled. he settled the case. He settled, yeah, he settled, settled the case. Like, that's how he got it. That's how he got it. He settled. He settled. He's eating. You know, come on, man. Everybody you know, know Juvie settled, God. too. Juvie got his bag. Yeah. No, so Wayne, Wayne finally got God. his bag. Yo, listen, a lot of people don't know, man, that young, that young boy down there in Texas got a lot to do with this stuff. Prince, man. Oh, nah, definitely. Oh, but nah, he, oh, what's the name, though? No. You know he signed the Rock Nation? No. That's man, that's man, Wayne. Man, Jay Z yeah. made a lot of them deals go through, you know. Yo, man, but listen, man. man, what's up? Once man? they get that hose it, hose a motherfucker, you can't say no to, and you can't say hold on to. You can't even be like. But Yo, he was been trying to, to like he, he was trying to get Wayne. Yeah, he was trying to get Wayne ten years ago. Yeah, but I think he, he, I think he, he was trying, trying to get him out of the he deal because he was kiss, but kiss, kiss wasn't really. He didn't really feel. Nah, kiss feeling. over there. He went over there. Yeah, yeah. Because at first they were saying kiss didn't want it. Because remember so when he had the Rockefeller chain? Kiss yeah. had the Rockefeller chain. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Well, he might have did the little. Um, nah, the, but he was one of them before they switched to Rock Nation because he was one of the main niggas that went to Rockefeller. Cause he had got the Rockefeller but, chain. Yeah, it's a few yeah. niggas that got the Rockefeller chain that ain't stayed like MOP. Oh, no, DB too. Mm-hmm. Yo, but MOP, they'll tell you like, listen, why nah, the fuck that we was, don't that sign was with them niggas? What's the name though? That was when, um, when Dane was, when Dane was just passing out chains. Like, yo, fuck it. 
Listen. Dame was just giving nah, out but like, fucking y'all just can't disrespect Dame either. Nah, we gonna Dame's leave the alone. motherfucking Dame's G, the nigga. nigga. Real Dame shit. Dame the one put them niggas on. Shout out to them Harlem boys. Dame Dash Studios, man. Dame the one put them niggas on. You ask me. Nah, Dame put a lot of that work in, man. I can never own. I mean, Jay-Z's talent got him there, but Dame's energy and effort. I don't think none of them niggas could have prospered without him. Like, I, think I agree with that. I agree with that. Oh, yeah. I agree with and that. that moment they right there, together, not to one say would have too much. But too many that moves. moment right there, they needed motherfucking Beggs. They needed Dame and they needed Jay because they all yeah. did three different things. You know what I'm saying? And that was the dope shit about Rockefeller because I, I that, Jay fuck was with the only Dame rapper. heavy though, I man. Dame. Dame Yo, Jay's talent is just undeniable. Jay just, I mean, he. But, like, Jay appeared to me. I don't know him. I ain't never met him, sat in no room or nothing with him. But if um you walk into a room and they like, yo, listen, we're going to sign you to this little sweater deal, Jay might be like, nah, you know, I'm going to look at a pants deal. He seemed to be more like, damn, what's, nigga, fuck that. Nigga, like, nah, we ain't said, nigga, we signed the whole fucking company. That, that's what I think Dame. So, like Dame's you said, all it. pieces of the puzzle. <laughs> But I just think that Dame, man, the, I, I can't the deny it all. I can't Biggs deny it. was just the nigga that just went with shit. Biggs was quiet in the motherfucker. Biggs was quiet in the Like, like what we do. Yeah, we'd be rope. surprised to find out what Dame, I, I don't Push know what it. Biggs, like you said, but I'm pretty sure, I mean, Biggs ain't part but, of that oh, shit for Dame nothing. was always the nigga, like, screaming and jo- oh, yelling at niggas and getting shit done. And, you know, oh, <clears throat> I think Ho respect that, but I just, you know, them niggas was real close, man, so who know what the fuck. They situation could be with yeah, each other. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because them niggas was real close. And you know, that shit was like big money that was broke down. That shit wasn't no couple dollars. That shit was some real nah, big money. Nah, that was money, you know man. You know what I'm saying? Like to give up rock away. They had all type of shit. State property. They had pro The first cash, album. Belvedere. Yeah. Niggas had fucking everything. Like, I see why I, like Dame, Dame was like tight when all that shit just broke down. Like that was... But a lot of people sleep. Like, they think that Dame was part built. of that bridge being built. You feel me? Yo, Dame yeah, been, like, oh, been a boss from day like one. It was like Dame started yeah. just doing too much shit without Ho. You know what I'm saying? Well, Ho was more. We able, like you said, that's a story we don't know. But speaking of that money, because shit, that about money. Nah, but so Ho was man, moving to that nigga, next level. Dame was still doing his thing. Th- yeah, that's a part of it. Yeah, that's, that's Ho a part moved of to it. that next level, then shit started getting crazy. Oh, some people got into Jay's ear, but like I said, without people knowing the knew story. That, mad people knew Jay was more of the person you could deal with over Dame. So they knew which they one started do you getting want it. it. It was the... the they go with the talent. The and somebody, like, Dame, somebody that we could... We in my be, eyes, walk be over. To talk to him. Dame in give my you a eyes, contract walk over. or give you whatever he say. That's what he wants. Dame he don't want there, like, no no none of that. Jim, take jackets off, no off and put on a rock of if um, Dame would have fucking on, if that's Dame, what Dame do. Dame yeah. would have got in a position that fucking holds in right now. Dame would have been really like he would have shut a lot of doors on a lot of motherfuckers, and they knew that. So they knew Hove would leave them doors open. He'd be appreciative of making it up here. You know what I'm saying? And Jay was about that money. More power to him, because obviously you see the money in his lap. Sure. Now, when you make money, because it's similar to the same shit, too, because I'd love to keep speaking on that, but let's jump into this other shit with this UFC nigga. I think his name's Darren Lewis. Like, you know, heavyweight UFC. So you start making money, like a Jay. Do you cut off a Dame, son, and shit like that? Do you cut off family? Do you cut off people that you started making money with? Like, we sitting up here, we about to be millionaires next week. You gonna like, outgrow shit, man. It but, ain't even out of, like, see, that's what I don't think people change. I think the money puts you see, in a different point, place. Point with the So where you're not cap. attainable with motherfuckers. You can't be attainable with he $4 did. million dollars to the right. He came up. He did his family a favor. He bought everybody cars. That's what I'm saying. So he bought everybody a car. So they returned the cars and, and got, got the money. I wouldn't have spoke to none of them motherfuckers no more. <laughs> Period. Mother, everybody. <laughs> like, the nigga end up getting yeah, his yeah, mom dukes in them. His mom's, his brother, his sister, all of these. Within the first month, it, niggas had it, um, it took the shit man. back and got the cash for the Vs. I if I I might have felt a certain type of way about that if I was him. Um, I'm not going. to But lie. at the same time, I ain't going to lie. No maybe some of the, whoever returned the car really needed the cash more than that car. 
Nah, fuck that. I'm but not, I'm not. Um, I mean, I probably wouldn't even. That was I'm a that's a say, gift from heart. So I'm not gonna say forever, but I damn sure know me and my moms ain't speaking for a minute. That's a fact. Like if I gave uh, her a seventy thousand dollar car and then she went back and got fifty in. No, oh, hell no. That shit better. That fifty better hold you. You better be cheated up, my brother. Hell yeah, because if I'm. But I see your mom's like, okay, you got me the seventy thousand dollar car, son. But um, I need some cash for my pocket. And that's like, what I'm saying. I would see your mom's doing like that. that. Like, and yeah, see, you got to think. On top of that, we hearing he was on a um on another like, pod just kicking bills. it. He was chopping it up. He was on Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah, His name is Derek Lewis. That nigga's name? Oh, I'm just saying, well, yeah. just in your case, y'all don't know. It's the biggest fucking podcast in the world, nigga. Well, listen, Why would you ever just say well, your shit for free? Listen, <laughs> listen, 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 don't say his name for free. Yeah, nigga, the <laughs> biggest podcast nah, nah, in the fucking world, nigga. We also got to be let people but be able to Google it. Um, his name is Derek Lewis, and he bought his family cars or what have you, cash cars, boom, this is yours. They selling the cars to get the money, and then they still hitting them up. He done changed his number. They finding out, getting in contact. I ain't going to say whether or not they got it from his sister, his mom, whatever. I don't know how they got the numbers. But he's was like, his Yo, mother involved? Cold. His mother, his sister, oh, and so his they, brother. They sold the cars. They got the dough. But they right. still hitting him up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He's still getting I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not giving motherfucking shit. And like he said, he said, nah, I kind of fell back from everybody. Like, y'all, I feel like me trying to help people only hurt me. So now, 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 now hold when on, you get let me bread. throw this out. Let's like, when, this you out. Get, when you get bread, it's like, and see, this is the one thing I be trying to tell people, right? Yo, if you're a person that ain't all right with self, yo, it don't even matter how much money you get. You're not going to be okay. You're not going to be able to make the money grow. And that's why I say a lot of people, like, just say, uh, Oprah, look at it. If she came in and gave everybody $100,000, niggas would fuck that shit up. When It, it ain't going to be too many motherfuckers that's going to think, move it. Yo, let me get something with it. Let me ask yeah. you this. Just let look me... what niggas did with the free money that just went around in this Real COVID. estate, business or something. No, nah, look yeah. at what niggas just did with this COVID money. Oh, oh they, they ran through it. That shit. A lot of you people know, did some investments, yo, though. Yo, you see all the Jordans niggas is wearing now? That's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Investments, that's what I'm saying. Some, 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 it, some it, people it, did the right thing, days, but majority yeah, just ran through like, it. It was a good 80% of the motherfuckers, if you ask them now, they don't have shit of it. Not even mm-hmm. that. And look they probably look, got over 30, 40,000. And nothing to yo, show hold on, for it. Hold on, look at how many but niggas scammed. Hold on, look how many niggas scammed them niggas. There's a lot of scams. What's them niggas spectacular? Them niggas don't... What's they, whatever that group is, them niggas got caught up. One of them dudes scamming. For you, to, for you to even have it, and we was on COVID, and you was in a crib, what the fuck did you do with it? If you didn't invest, when did you really do? All right, let's it was COVID, this. you couldn't even go nowhere. Let me where ask you a question. Where you getting fresh to go? Here's a question yeah, for like, us. Here's a question where are you going to spend your money? Shit was here's, shut down. Here's a question for us. All right, so right now. And niggas were still lobstering hey, hey, right, it out. So, but you know what they was on, doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so far as, right Put now. Put the money on the debit yo, card. Yo, we online. all sit here. We all sit here. We all got $100 to our name. <laughs> the most all shit us, that came up was the liquor shit. store. Liquor listen. Store yeah, came yeah, up yeah, more yeah, than yeah, anything right. during COVID. Yeah, niggas, mm-hmm. got, you ain't see all these big bottles? Listen. In the so, weed, in, so, in the weed, man. Hold on, hold on. So what you owe? So here it is. We didn't kill shit. Here it is. Here it is. This is this is this is the question of the night. With that, with that UFC fighter, he making money. He he bought his family cars. No titles, not here's a cash card. Dog, pay for it. You good. Mm. So now let's ask this question, because they blew up whatever you know what they're gonna do. They actually sold the cars for cash. All right. If you make money, so right now we all got everything is that we hang out with. Everybody cool with each other. We all got a hundred dollars to our name, right? Well, let's say a thousand is thousands to our name, whatever. So now, um, we 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 grind. Uh, we make the NBA. Our son make the NBA. Um, you make a football team. You uh, make a, a computer shit. Whatever the fuck it is. Now you making millions of dollars. Do you owe it to anybody? Anybody? Family, friends, whatever. Would you take some of your money? Do you feel like okay, I got um two million dollars. Let me go ahead and give fifty thousand to my cousins, to my moms, to my not your moms. Moms is different always, in my opinion. But anyway, let's cousins. Um, friends that you grew up with that you probably ain't even talked to in five years, but you know they had an impact on your life. Do you feel like the money that you made off your blood, sweat, and tears, not no scratch ticket shit. I don't even think you my family if I ain't spoke to you in five years. So that's what I'm saying. So so do you feel like, do you you, owe anybody? I know know they not called now because all the people that, when you really say you give shit back, it's the people that roll with you through some shit. You know, it's people that like the hood pushed them through college. 
somebody looked out and probably pay room and board or maybe make sure board they books. have food, whatever, shit like that. So then that's the reason off. why you like, yo, I'm going to get, but if you rode your own way, feel that's up to the individual. I'm not mad if he do, I'm not mad if he don't. If a nigga felt, nigga, fuck it, man, you know, nigga, I shot this way, I got a fucking scholarship through school, I put myself, now I'm in the NBA. Ain't mad if he like, nigga, fuck it, he about how you feel about something like that? Mm. Nah, I wouldn't be mad at him, man. I mean, you make it somewhere in life, you get there, you rolling. You really don't owe anybody anything, putting your heart, sweat, and tears into what you're doing. But if you got, like like you said, your parents, they don't even count as towards who you should really look out for when you make right, it. Right, I almost exclude parents. Who should, who could, who should you not I'm forget about? Hey, yo, aunts and uncles, hey, yo, cousins. Yo, right. I got to answer my question. No, if Dre, no, came, if Dre came, if Dre came up nah, tomorrow. I just to say something like, off of what he was saying. Okay. Yeah, it's the Dre, same way Dennis Rodman didn't feel his mom. He never did shit for his mom. Yeah, if Dre came up tomorrow. Mom, but you know why? If Dre got she rich. She put him out the house. I mean, you know it's a whole lot. Well, yeah, she did. She did throw him out. So that's what I'm saying because you said your mom's automatic. That was the only reason no, I brought no, that's, her. Oh, uh, that's why I said parents excluded because it depends on who helped you there though. No, but but, but yeah. So, right, so let me just ask say if he blow up tomorrow off the Blue Hill Live logos, and I know but, I was part of that when he first started in the basement with just a little computer trying to get everything right. Once he get to a certain point, y'all, right, you got to take flight. You're about to really move. All right. So I ain't, I can't go. I'm not in position. Go ahead, do your thing. All right. I would expect them to holler at me at least. Like, right. listen, right, you got well, a ticket. I want you to come I'm, I'm, catch I'm, this I'm, flight I'm the over question. there, and we gonna chop right. it up. Let me let no, me no. answer the question. But, now. It, but those are the people that grind, just like well, a motherfucker. I can't that, answer the I'm question. Gonna, <laughs> I don't like talking <laughs> over nobody. This nigga act like you got right. a general hospital. Nah, like this shit's like tuning next week. Nah, but you yo, you already know your camera gonna shut off in ten minutes. Nah, but hold on, my opinion. Yo, the reason why I said exclude parents is because either you got a good relationship with them or you got a bad one with them. That's why I said exclude parents. So like you said, Dennis Rodman didn't fuck with his mom, whatever, because of a certain reason. So that's why I said yeah, exclude they parents. Some personal problems. Now, me personally, if I came up, I got a couple of million, I'm definitely reaching back to my little cousins. Um, Not even my little cousins. I'm talking about my cousins, my age, whatever, that got family, that they, they got little cousins. I ain't going to touch they whole family and they whole family. But like, listen, yeah, his 20 head, grand, his 10 grand, like, yo, just his a check in the mail, like, just something to get you, like, it's this, I know if, what the fuck do I need all this money for, like, if I can't spend it all, right? Like, so in other words, so I'm just going to buy the newest Bentleys, I'm just going to buy the newest, biggest mansions, I need a, a crib and everything. So this is just me personally. Like, I really feel like if I had two million, if I had three million, it'll be nothing for me to send, um... 5,000, 10,000, like, because I know how we all grew up. I know how some of my family's living and looking. So I'm always be like, listen, let me send them something like, you know, just a, a, a something in the mail. They ain't even got to reach out to me. Both of them. Uh oh, oh. So, so that's why I'm like, yo, so I will always send something to them. I don't, I don't feel like I'm obligated to do it, but out the kindness of my heart, yeah. like, you'll see that we'll be sitting. The way certain cats are moving, they'll blow $5,000 in a and day. This is, and this is what and I'm You can't send $5,000 to, so like, to a district. You cousin. having, you having um, a couple mil, you sending your little cousin See, moving like that is not going to help your little cousin. That's what I'm trying to say. That is the reality of bread not recycling in the hood. It's, it, the money is not going to help certain people. You would be better off saying, y'all got to, like with me, we just talking about this the other night. I said, yo, say if the podcast went. Niggas get five mil. We have to bust it down the middle. Whatever. Cool. We got 2.5. My mom's, I would do some shit like pay all her bills probably forever. Like it would be, but it wouldn't just be like, yo, me give her this bro. I'm not to say she wouldn't do nothing good with it, but it's like, I feel some, what would they know to do with it? You know what I'm saying? So I would like, yo, set her up, get her crib, get her. Yo, I'm going to pay your bills. What you got to do is take care of yourself. Pay everything else. You smooth sailing. I you know like that. I mean? That's an but idea of yours. It's, it's like, it, what I'm saying, because it's like... Some you people, you do back, have to do that. If for you to give you it Give them back, the money, they'll blow it. It's, it's, I don't really see, like like I just said, man, um, it was nothing but free money just the last year and a half. 
I mean, look who is going on. Niggas ain't got shit now. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. You hitting Lil Cuzzo with 10 racks can really be the death Lil of Lil Cuzzo. Lil Cuzzo going to blow Cuzzo through that 10. He's going to get on his feet. And he niggas whack his ass. We're not talking about no 15-year-old. No, I'm talking no, about Lil Cuzzo like, little, like, little like 40. Like 40. But now, no, I'm talking about my cousins like no, my age. Say so like, like with me. I sent my little cousin 10 racks. He tried to get on his feet. Shit go wrong for him. Now I'm a part of this. Why? Because that Tim Rex was what he tried with. Now He's, I got to build this motherfucker. You, do you out. have cousins that's yeah, around 40? Look for you, you to look out for got, him again. Hold on, hold on. You got cousins that's around 40 that got kids? Yeah. Okay, so I'm talking about that cousin, not oh, the second or third different. cousin. Right, so different. I'm not talking about not all my cousins, not all my little, um, obviously my whole family, my brothers and sisters, everybody going to eat. But as far as my cousins... My mom's sister's kids, my mom's brother's kids, like first cousins, like, and they grown people. All I'm saying is if I sent them five, ten grand, I'm not looking for them to build no um, businesses and not like that. This is just no. something. Here's something to something like the weight to off you get for you a by. couple of days. Maybe this yeah. could pay your car note right. for six months. Right. So that's mm-hmm. what I'm just saying. Like, what the fuck do five or ten grand mean to me if I'm a multimillionaire? And if I can help somebody out, like right now, if I got a check, like I from a distant you, cousin, at some point, this shit this, gonna mean a lot to you. You are gonna be like, damn, I wish I would have kept. Depends, that like, but I'm smart enough to move a certain way, so you can't be too stupid. That's why I said, like, five, six would, grand, like I, it might even be more. If you look more. at, you would rather put your peoples in position. That's all. Okay, if you hit them with something, give them some knowledge, like on um, invest your money in something so you can receive back. Because if they're not doing that. Okay, this money done ran out. Maybe, you know, maybe big, you, you maybe big Cuzzo will send us another five, you ten racks. And then let your family just all work. But no, nah, but you on it now. Yeah, but now you on it. If you keep, what, if you keep looking out, you got to look at, you got to look at your own income. But that's what the UFC fighter did. Instead of investing in something, and then like, you okay, got to so, think about your lifestyle. If you're making this type of money, you're gonna upgrade your lifestyle. You're not gonna stay on it where you're at. To what at. point? Right, that's why, like how you say, you might need that money eventually. You got so millions. Words, if you, you got a couple million, be living in a penthouse, Yo, pushing pen. right, right depends, right depends. Right like you every, me, you gotta the more right. money you get, the more, the bigger your lifestyle yeah, yeah, of becomes. Course. Always, always. I don't even know when the fuck I would, uh, I would cash the motherfucker for one. I probably wouldn't even cash it all the time. Why would I? I? Why would I? I'm a I already know what you're saying. We like, got a check right now for a million dollars. Fuck it. It is what it is. Like we just gonna cash sh- that motherfucking no, stop. Deposit balling. that shit into the bank. More off the interest. Do something or right even with investing. it. I invest in property, but either way, that's another story. Invest but all in, in all, property. Hell yeah. Like, I'm listen, I, I, I love right. the idea, of, especially like LeBron James. You ain't blowing your money in the strip club. You be VIP for the rest of your life. He blow two million dollars at the strip club. Like he get it free forever. He gonna get it free forever. And I'm gonna act the way Paul Pan should have acted. I'm gonna turn the fuck up in that motherfucker. Boss might. Tell a few of the chicks, yo, he oh, let him do what he want. <laughs> it's gonna be fucked up because the next morning, nigga, Fence gonna be like, yo, they sent the letter, see, yeah. success, nigga, no podcast no more. Word. They they, hey, then you're gonna be shit. trying to ch- fucking choke shit. strippers for your money back. You getting red tape, but see, that's, that's the point of not blowing your money, doing the smart thing with money, but also, like, I like the way LeBron James took them young boys with him, his high school teammates, whatever. Put them in the um, school businesses, whatever. Now look at they multimillionaires. If you look at what um, a lot of people don't know, what um, Kevin Garnett did with his team, you know what I mean? I don't even want. Buffalo. I don't even. But, I don't even want that much money to where it's scary. Like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, like, I just but, want enough money where I can still live and like come around my people. That's my thing. But D, like, D, D touched on. But D I the one touched no on where it's like. My that, nigga, I gotta be Larry that's about fuck your money. with people or people. Yeah. Just nah, but D, like, what D touched on, no, though, I was hate this. this nigga. Like, I don't want that type of D money. touched on the smartest thing. It's like, yo, having a business that everybody could prosper in. So you go ahead on, put your little cousin in culinary um, school. Then I hire him as him or her. You got as a my restaurant. Chef. You got a head chef. Yo, as there. my chef. Like, I'm gonna pay somebody for my chef. So, yeah. all right, put somebody else in as a, as a lawyer. Yeah, any of that. Like, drop out of the motherfucking that's every yard school. But the same way you'll throw 10 racks at a strip club. Five racks. So you rather that. just throw 10 racks at the strip club. Oh, let no, them see, bitches eat. You're, you're not, you're not eat putting him in that chef position bitches, until he show you that certificate that he graduated. Period. 
him, her, whoever. But I just really feel like, um, nah, that shit is just a, a bad thing when niggas really just a motherfucker give you something and then you return it and that's like a bad situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that is. That For is. Anybody, like, you know what I'm saying? Especially, like, you say your brother, even if one of my brothers and I was fucked up and he just came and was like, yo, new range. I mean, in my head, it'd be like, damn, I probably could have took the apartment over the range, but nigga, my brother gave it to me. This was his gift to me. I don't feel to bring yeah, it back. You know that. what I'm saying? Keep that. Like, fuck it. I'm just going to have to sleep in this motherfucking house on wheels. You know what I'm saying? Like but said, I'm that. not bringing it back. I feel that's corny to go against the grain that much. Like, But at the same time, I'm quite sure your brother going to definitely give you some lead ways for us putting you in a... In a crib, true, and see, this is now for me. You got, you got to start thinking about business wise. What you gonna do for him to say this story? You know, it was more given for him to just say that part of the story. You know, he gave more. That was just the part that was like, damn, I was fucked up. He didn't even go into like the other shit he did. He just Mm -hmm. was like, yo, I did A, B, and C, and I feel like my family be trying to take advantage of a nigga. So I be having to fall back, which is like well, if he's letting them, if he's, he, money, if he's letting them, you, they yeah. All right, so money. Some people will do it because family you, members too. You're just thinking, yo, I come from that, so I know niggas be needing help. You start giving. Some niggas don't be having that no in them. They just get that shit out. Yo, fuck. You know what? I'm gonna send it to you. All right. So when you look at stuff like that, so now you're a millionaire, whatever. So even like with the podcast, like even what's going on with Joe Buttons or what have you, right? What do what matters most? Like, so do you care more about your friendship? Do you care more about the money making? Do you want to continue to make Shout money? Shout out to Joe, man. Would that you rather said, fuck that podcast? I care about my friends. Well, yeah. If if people don't know, um, Joe Buttons has a podcast, and he had two people at least that I know of. Whatever was um, Maul and um, Rory. And I'm sorry, I don't know their handles and tags and all of that, but. They were friends before the podcast. Something's been coming up lately where it appears that they're at least going through some turmoil. And um, Joey said, you know what, I'd rather have my friends than the podcast. And I'm going to speak first on this personally because I had um, not no podcast with him, but like uh, my man, he used to cut hair. And um, I would go to his crib. He had no barber shop or nothing, so i go to his crib. Yo, boom, you know, this is the way you're supposed to be treated. I'm giving you some cash. I'm not getting no free cuts or nothing like that. And, uh, all right, so I'm paying for the cut. Then I started realizing that, okay, if we have an appointment at, you know, four, four in the afternoon or noon, I'll come through, and it's like I'm sitting there till midnight. And it's like, oh, yeah, you know, we chilling, you know, let's hang out with whatever. Like, nah, I can't get a cut. Like, I'm paying for a service. And then it, it started becoming... Nah, you my man, so let's just all hang out. So it's like, yo, I, I cut off the cutting because I I rather fuck with you as my man. Like, yo, you my man. But when it comes to the service, this is a business transaction. Like, I'm not sitting up here begging for a cut, and then you could get to me when you get to me. Nah, if I'm paying you for this cut, and our time is noon, at least cut it by 1230. I'll give you a few minutes if you got to change your drawers or whatever, but... So I actually was like, you know what? I'd rather be your man. You know what I mean? Friendship. So it was like, would you rather be friends and say, fuck the money? Would you rather be like, yo, fuck the days. Let me go ahead and keep making See, this money. That's a good question. Communication with your friends, man. Communication. Yeah, but like, so now the communication's out like there. He, he should understand how you came to pay for a cut. You don't really want to chill. I feel what you're saying. You got other things to do. Yeah, I'll come back late on when I'm done. And chill for a few more hours, get nice, whatever. You can do what you do with whoever else's head. doesn't matter, but just cut me up, let me go. <laughs> Sometimes I think dudes be looking at it too, like, yo, that's my man. You know, um, not to say, like, maybe you that appointment, but a lot of dudes I know, like, when niggas come to shops and shit, niggas are chill and talk you to death about some shit, you know what I'm saying, an hour or two, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, I definitely done been in the joint getting a cut and been in the seat hour uh, and a half. Like a nigga just cutting, stopping, we kicking it, yo, call sending it, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit done been crazy. So would you leave that motherfucker? Um, like, yo, I'd rather, was that your man? 
He was oh, my just man. Oh, just All right, so that he was, was my man. man, and he was a good barber. So now, would you be on some shit like, yo, I'd rather you be my man than to be leaving this motherfucker like, yo, fuck you. Nigga like, been cutting my shit as well, George. Same <laughs> nigga, man. We just go through it, and when I'm in the ring, yo, my nigga, I gotta go, my nigga, what's up? Like, you know, I learned to get like that because at first I used to go up in there like, damn, nigga, bugging what up with him? But then it was like, now nah, I got, yo, bro, I'm in the mood. I can't sit here and bug out with you, no nothing. And you know what I'm saying? At times, I still... Had to sit and wait. Had to go through it with him, like, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? To where we are chilling. But then I started to where, even with myself, um, it's like I catch a nigga early in the morning. Usually niggas don't want to talk early in the morning. <laughs> so I set it up like, yo, I'm your first person in. Nigga just waking up, he getting it, so he usually chop me and I'm out. You know what I'm saying? So definitely around that shit. But I think with Joe and them... Yo, no bullshit, and anybody that know me know that's one of my favorite pods. I fuck with them niggas. Like, that's where, you know, um, I always thought of a podcast, but when I really seen how they shit was leveling up, it really got my creative juices. So that's one nigga that I really respect in the podcast game. Just all three of them niggas, I think them niggas is like the shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I know Joe got the name, but I feel like, it's a group creative thing. You know what I'm saying? I think that podcast is built off all of them. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Even listening to it, I can't even stunt. Like, this shit wouldn't even be right if Rory was gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it just his style and what he bringing. I think that's why so many people tune into the Joe shit because them niggas are not the same. So you always getting, like, three different situations. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not getting three niggas that all think the same way. Right. You know what I'm saying? You got three dudes grew up different, kind of met at a certain age, and became friends. You know what I'm saying? So if you Joe, you saying, fuck the podcast, fuck with my friends. Or you saying, fuck them friends, we, we got a meal ticket. If, this shit is um, easy. I'm going to probably say. That's why I gave the barber shop shit. Like, I'd rather fucking um, go to another barber than to lose my friend. Why can't he separate his friends from the podcast? I definitely would. Um, That's what I said. Do you keep the part? Well, like, like he keep said, your, your the, personal the, relationship with your friends. We just gonna keep that away from. Oh, from what I see, so if it was, was all built together, yeah, yeah, that's a problem. That's it was a problem. So, like now, yeah, do you a, just put two problem. other niggas in? Nah, you can't do that. So that's what I said. Do you, so then, I mean, now, been, that's a money he been, ticket. He's been doing it, though. the podcast itself. He's been doing it. He been. He already had two other niggas. Like, but see, this is and see, this is the thing where people are forgetting too. The thing I think people forget about this shit. And I'm not trying to release no hidden information or nothing, but I'm just telling niggas, uh, shit, everybody know what it is. So in a podcast, it's the people that's talking, and it's usually like some people over there that is, this is a crew. So the one thing about Joe with niggas is not saying that he didn't, he didn't like, it was the three niggas started the podcast. So say Fence and Trash, and in me, we all started. They dip. When they dip, I just have drooping dice in it. Mm -hmm. The niggas that sitting in is also all they friends. So it's not like he went and hired right. people or got some people oh, yeah, that right. they all, all of them didn't know. They all, they These all, are niggas that talk to more. Each other. Nine out of ten that was like, what do you think about us getting on? I don't even see them niggas being that group of niggas that'd be like, yo, fuck it, we on. Joe probably hit niggas. Yo, I'm going to have these two niggas come on. What y'all think? Depending on what they said, and I believe the other two niggas had. I think in that shit, one thing I think it showed was in black men, what I like, that friendship really mean a lot. I think all three of them niggas showed that, and that shit's bigger than anything. Even when I heard on um, all this shit at first, just hammering it, like I said, I'm big on the podcast, so I kind of was like, nah, this is just these niggas doing some dumb shit. But as I started hearing more people in the industry, like talking on it and trying to get to Joe to speak about it. But when I heard Joe speak, the nigga really was like, man, you know, um, when it come to my friends, fuck this podcast. Like, nigga, I wouldn't even want to do this podcast without them niggas. Like, that shit ain't even up to debate. Yeah, but, yeah, you know right. what I'm that's saying? Like, he, on, that was that was like hella mean when he said that. That shit, because with me, I wasn't expecting it from I'm not going to lie. I was expecting Joe to be like, man, shit, run as it run. But when he said that, I was like, damn, it's a real nigga that fuck with these niggas. You no, know what I'm saying? I, I definitely looked at it, like, because I felt like Joe, I always fuck with Joe, dog. Like, you know, my man, Rasheem, peace to Rasheem Hill. Yo, Dirty Jersey sat out there in the projects where he showed me where them boys was at. 
know Joey and all of them from back in the days, but I used to fuck with Joey, like the mixtapes and all that stuff. So it's like, I just felt like Joey always seemed to be at least an authentic nigga. He always came off real to me. Like even on this podcast, even on Love and Hip Hop, anything Joey was a part of, it just seemed like he was official whistle. So it seemed like to me for him to think of something like this, like, yo, nah, like, yo, we, we, we was boys. I'd rather stay boys than to, than to get on this paper chase. Like, and that's, look that's how my crazy mindset. Not like, even I'd rather you, do that shit. Not Fuck even to cut you off, shit, nigga. nigga. Like, you my look man. how crazy it was with him and this nigga having so many words on his show recently. Nigga was like, yo, we going to go to therapy together. Nigga said, yeah, yo, we yeah. going to go see therapists, yeah. nigga. We yeah. going to go hash this shit yeah. out. Because he was like, nigga, I definitely don't think it's worth, nigga, us not fucking with each other. Right. So, nigga, any way we can figure it out, let's go figure it out. And that show you that's big because I don't know who, but somebody's paying for that shit. That shit ain't nothing free. It ain't like just going well, up shit, to no office. Nah, that shit the, big the, money. He got the Dr. Jason, whatever that shit. You know what I'm saying? The um, couples therapy he was fucking with. <laughs> yeah, but either way. Yo, so but I think that was like who who you though? Fuck it, who the fuck are you in the heart? Like you say, you fuck with Joey. What the fuck would you do if you was Joey? I'm a Virgo, man. You fuck with the niggas or you fuck with the money? I'm a Virgo. Virgo, do y'all get money? Y'all get fucking friends? I don't know what the fuck is you a virgin, nigga? Oh, the money always gonna be there, so niggas always gonna pick their friends. Listen, like nigga, listen. That's how bro. That's why when I heard it from him, but see that shit come with growth too, and that shit come with like. Him believing in his niggas. You know what I'm saying? And I always been a dude like that. Like, I don't give a fuck what went on. It was always my friends. I don't give a fuck if it was nigga uh, abroad, anything, nigga, because these are the niggas that really watch my ass. These are the niggas that really ground me. I've never been a nigga. Got, this is how you got your name. This how you to got your pick movement. a nigga over this any, like, movement. fuck no. Any nigga that tell you that about it. I don't give a fuck what I'm doing. Niggas hit me, yo, son, and nigga, I'm out there. You'd be surprised. Some niggas escape with the first nigga that come with a little cheaper eight ball, man. Oh, like, yo, it's some corny. I mean, well, all the do you call I them corny with? if them niggas took the other eight ball even and moved niggas, up to the biggest? Even to me, they corny. Even I'm, with I'm some with of my, my friends hit me, nigga, no bullshit. Dog, I sit out, nigga, six, seven in the morning, nigga, kicking it with niggas. No bullshit, nigga, just talking and smoking blizzards, nigga. Mad other shit going on on the jack, nigga. Put that shit to the side. Nigga, I done left bitches, nigga, stuck at a club, nigga, for four hours. No ride, nigga, because one of my niggas was going through it. Real shit. Like, shit done got ugly. Like, word. But I always been one of them dudes the way, you know, that shit is above everything because I feel with me just thinking, you know, um, person never been married, none of that shit. It's like women is always up and down. It's like with friends, long as y'all keep it 100 with each other, that shit's some shit that lasts forever. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could go through changes, but that friendship stayed the same. You know what I'm saying? On y'all both real. So I definitely, like, commend all them niggas. I commend all the niggas on even the way they dealt with it in-house and didn't bash each other and shit on each other. Like, you ain't heard no shit from Rory talking shit or Maul talking shit. Like, you ain't heard nobody on it. Even when niggas was trying to talk about it to... Rory, Rory kind of was like, you know, fuck it, man. You know, I speak about it when I feel I want to speak about it. Everybody kind of wants some like, yo, ain't nobody just bombarding me with questions and then I'm just going to answer or, yo, I'm a shit on the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Because usually once niggas have a fallout, yo, after like 72 hours, niggas are just bomb on whatever the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't be having no felt on shit to even be like, damn, let's take a couple weeks and really figure this shit out. Usually, nigga, after like a couple days, niggas be like, nah, fuck that, yo. You know what really happens? Yo, and this was going on, and then this nigga was right, moving right, this right, way. Right, 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 Yo, he None really of them moved that way. It. None, None of them moved that way. That's what I said. So, so that's why you know it's a true friendship going on with the A lot of podcasters side. need to take that shit into, you know, definitely into their brain, man, and let that marinate, man, because that shit just show podcasters on the way they should go, and it don't matter if it's like, a situation over money, a company coming to buy the podcast, that shit should never fuck the podcast up. Niggas should never give up nothing that's going to change the podcast. I'll do one better. Not just the podcast, just in general, man. Like, yo, you fuck with a nigga, man. Like, yo, if a nigga just moving slimy, man, I ain't saying cut no nigga off that is that's moving slimy, dog. Like, but, yo, podcast and everything included, like, yo, sometimes you got cats that, 
they was moving a certain way when they was fucking five. Like, obviously, you know what I'm talking about, 15, 20, when you met somebody. Right. Now somebody 30, you be like, oh, yeah, I remember that dirty-ass nigga. Like, yo, he used to sit up there and try and sell food stands, whatever it is. But now he's starting a podcast. Now he making beats. Now he's a rapper. Now he, whatever it is. And I'm, the age difference don't matter. But I'm just throwing out that. It's like, yo, if you fuck with a cat, you fuck with a cat. And, like, don't just be up there because we got so many leeches and crabs in the barrel-ass niggas that when you hot, you hot. Like, so niggas fuck with you at this point in this time. But you once you what? start moving this way, now I don't fuck with you. Fuck that. That's going, that's comedy, going back on some shit. That's, that's comedy. We always talking about, man, and one thing, too, um, you kind of heard little bullshit in songs, but you never really heard Damon J go out and neighbor publicly. Never. Well, no, never. never. Like, I can't never. even think of a time like they asked Jay some shit and he was, like, just really bombed on Dash or Dash bomb. Like, they both say they little slick shit, like, you know, Dash is Dash, man. You know, I got love yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah. We just both going our own way, like, yeah. you know, to let you know, yeah. but never to where it was like, nah, you know what it really was with Dame Dash or, you know, right, what Jay right, really right, was right, in, right, you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Mm-hmm. Like, even no, now when shit going, it's still the respect yeah, there, yeah. man. And that's what I be saying, be real about. Even when two niggas can't go away, it's like the respect stay there. To where it still ain't like, yo, we're going to do some goofy shit to make shit seem away. Or to feed just the audience and what the fuck they want to right. hear from yeah. each other. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because one thing I be telling people, man, when it comes to friendship, even when niggas do that shit, nobody give a fuck. It, all it is is just entertainment. Like, the, y'all are going to be the ones fucked up. But that's why I say... Everybody Definitely. else is just entertained by y'all bullshit. And the most important, like you right, said, so y'all no could have kept what. that shit in the crib, <laughs> like real shit. Because nobody else give a fuck which way it really lay. Nobody can if you just, kill this nigga. MOP said they ain't signed with them niggas. Niggas affected by it. Beef, just like, how to being know, affected by that how shit. We gonna yeah. sign with, how we going to sign with uh, Rockefeller if the two head honchos that's supposed to be brothers is beefing? Have you ever heard them niggas talk? MOP, real talk. Like they say, I ain't make that up. That's the words coming from. Billy Dance, nigga. Uh, I believe it, nah, because like, real so. niggas wasn't going to get caught up in that way. For you to sign to the rock at that moment, it was like caught up in the way. But see, yeah. the one thing about it was a lot of niggas, man, if they keep it 100, man, they gotta, it was free money. Because they had to pay niggas to come over there. Yeah, and once yeah, it dispersed, yeah, everybody yeah, got yeah, let go. Yeah, so it yeah. was like free checks for like Twister, ODB, Dipset. Did they sign it? Well, who oh, did knows? Dipset like ever nah, 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 mess with them? And when Dipset really blew off that well, Rockefeller. Cam was never head. Rockefeller, was nah, he? Cam was. He, um, Come Home With Me was done under Rockefeller. Was Rockefeller. Was that, Rockefeller? that was the only um, album, too. Just that one album. Because that's when they broke up. And once they broke up, I guess it was kind of like everybody was out of their contract. Because what, oh, MOP shit. went to what? G Unit or some shit after that? Mm-hmm. But yeah, the game's the game, man. Like, I know we talked y'all to death, man. Like, we always, always want to get back to our sign-on and sign-offs, man. Like, we love the topics we talked about, man. We always on our game, man. Tune in Saturday. We definitely going to pick up where we left off. We going to drop jewels. We going to give you all that Boston talk, the hot topics. We going to give you our pay. We have some more special guests on, so definitely tune in. At some point, we're going to be trying to go live and reach out, be able to let people call in. Y'all can talk y'all shit, call in, roast, whatever it is you want to say. We ain't limiting niggas' voices. This ain't one of them shits. You can call in, say what the fuck you want to say. Man, female, shit, if you a kid and you can talk, say what the fuck you want to say, man. I ain't, you know, it's you all about. the baby monitor yeah, yeah, too? Whoever, man, yeah, just whoever, call and talk yo, your shit, man. If the baby monitor's hooked up to a cell phone, let's get oh, it. Bullshit, just let that shit stay on and just let the baby go. But um, <laughs> definitely, man, you yo, know, link Boston, up, man. man. You know, this shit yes, definitely sir. is a Boston situation. Good look for Dynamite coming out tonight, showing niggas Thanks some love. Up, you know what I'm saying? Show, it, show, for He's show. another nigga y'all see a lot of. You know, he fuck with I the show. I appreciate the invite. Show, so. Brothers invite me to politic on certain issues. For yeah, sure. So look out for him. By the time y'all see him next time, he'll have his handle together. Y'all be able to look him up. Facebook, Instagram. So, you know, definitely look definitely. out, man. We still just putting the show together, getting shit right. You can see the studio shit done changed, so... 
you know, we done had like three different turnarounds. Yeah. So well, we just fuck with us, time. man. You know Keep what I'm saying? Fuck with us, grind with us, grow with us. Y'all see the mics coming, everything coming along. So, you know, just fuck with us, man. We getting it together. And we're going to have that merch for y'all soon, too. Merch coming right. soon. Episode one coming soon. When episode one comes soon, the merch is going to come. But you already know this what it is. This is just stop. Podcast. I'm your boy, Boston Craft Man. I'm your man, Check J. Me out Defense. Go ahead. On Instagram, Facebook. But more than anything, even if you don't check me out, because your bitch probably have, but check out the podcast, man. Everybody log on. <laughs> Like the podcast, share the podcast, man. Subscribe. Word, subscribe show niggas some love subscribe. out there. We yes, need sir. some love. Get our shit up, man. Boston, stand up. And definitely J Defense on all platforms. You see me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, J Defense. J A Y Defense. D F E N C. And R I P. My cousin Will B they just passed. You know what I'm saying? Shit still moving, shit still going. You know, you still in the memory start. A lot of pictures was put up by you the other day. So, you know, we definitely still rocking, man. Shout out to the nigga Doe. You already know. This shit stop. Shout out to Johnny on the boards for holding it down. You know, she be in the background. So, definitely check her out. Y'all know her handle. Get with her. Show her some love. And you know we back at y'all Saturday, man. Hey.